is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? Peggy stopped at a place where people can come and look at a collection of old and interesting things. Like this. What do you suppose they might be? I'll give you some clues. They've got wheels and travel on a track and make a chuff, 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 chuff. Clackety-clack, clackety-clack, clackety-clack noise. What do you think they might be? Take a look round with Peggy and see if you can guess. railway museum where they look after and restore old engines and carriages. This train stopped at the platform and here's the luggage ready to go on board. And here's the sign saying Tysley Station. But what pulled the old carriages? I'm going to take a look. It's an engine and this is an old steam engine. In the olden days they used to have to make a fire in the engine to make it go. They used to shovel coal from here and put it into here where the fire was. And the smoke would come out of the chimney. And this is the accelerator. All aboard! Chuff, 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 chuff. Woo woo! Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. Woo woo! This is the place where they look after and restore the old engines to their original condition. This one could do with a lick of paint. And it hasn't got its big wheel. This one doesn't even look like a train at all. Hasn't even got an engine. And look at this one. It's enormous. It's called the Scots Guardsman. And look how big these wheels are. They're even bigger than me. And over there is a machine that takes the bumps out of the wheels so you have a smooth journey. Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy spotted a roundabout at the railway. But what is it for? roundabout it's a turntable and in the olden days it was used for turning the engines round so they were facing the right way when they left the sheds and the turntable would have been in a round building 
called a roundhouse. A shunting diesel is used to pull the carriage onto the turntable. It's now ready to be connected to an engine, so I'm getting out of the way. Peggy Patch's clutter corner. A long box, a short box, a cardboard tube that's round. Peggy's friends will make a model with odds and ends they've found. There we are. Look, what do you think? Yay. But what does a steam train do? What does it make? It makes steam. Yes! So how about this for steam? Yeah. What do you think? Put yeah. that in there, in the chimney. There we go. All aboard! Do you want to have a go at making some trains? Yeah. Do you want to make some new carriages and new trains? Yeah. Well, I'll pop this one over here. There we are. What do you think of that? That could be a carriage, couldn't it? Yeah. Do you put windows down each side? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So do you want one each? Yeah. Um, if Kimberly and Natalie, if you have one of those each, and I'll get you some bits and pieces to make windows, you could draw faces in them, couldn't yeah. you? And there could be people looking out the windows. Yeah. So do you want to have a go at sticking some of them on? Yes. There's a big one at the front and maybe some other ones along the side. There are, you put some of those on. All right. <laughs> Can you reach them? That's it. There we are. Maybe we could have some windows along the side. Red. Oh, Kimberly, do play well. Turn it round and put some more on the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, I need it. You that. What was that? Where's it going? No, no. That must be a modern train, mustn't it? Ooh, a modern no. train. No. Yeah, they make a no, no noise. Did I? Oh, yeah. Put it in my pocket. Love that. No, don't. Not yet. Yes, that's it. Right? Red. I'm going to stick it beside the one then. Yeah, now we need two. I'll do a couple of people. There we go. All right, there's the two. And should I put the five on? And then we can put it on the other side as well. Uh. All right, you can hold the carrot, the engine still for me. That's it. It's stuck to my finger, I think. Is it? Are you going careful, to build careful. the tent in a bit? Yeah. There we are. One, two, five. One, two, five. <laughs> An intercity train. Do you want to draw some people in there? That's what I was going to do. There we are then, Kimberly. Look. You put your wheel on. You can put oh, it on there. That's I'll it. I'll put the that on there. there. They're going to put it. Turn. How are you doing, Kimberly? That will be good. You need one more there, don't you? One more yeah. at the end. Well, I think we've nearly finished, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Right, a couple more faces in here? Or are they empty? And empty. They're empty. Right, well, should we pick up our engines and our carriages? Yeah. Pick them up. Put some steam on the top. Should we make a train? Hang on. Yeah. Look, there we are. There's two carriages. Put your carriage up that way. There we are. There's our train. Neat, neat. Neat, neat. Peggy, have you found some more clutter? Pick a bit up, put a bit in, put a bit of litter in the litter bin. Stan, the dustbin man, was emptying the first bin at the bottom of Daffodil Road. His mates, Dan and Fran, were waiting for him in the cab of Big Edna, the bin lorry. Stan's a long time, said Dan. I hope he hasn't found anything useful said Fran. Stan often found useful things by the bin and put them in Big Edna's cab. Today was no exception, for just then Stan came up the path pushing an enormous wheelbarrow. <laughs> Look what Mr Trotter has thrown out, said Stan, smiling from ear to ear. He's bought a new one and says I can have this. Can I put it in the cab, please, Fran? Certainly not, gasped Fran. I have enough problems with bits of wood and bird cages. There's no way I could see to drive with a wheelbarrow in the cab. Dan giggled. <laughs> You'll have to push it, Stan, or leave it behind. I can't leave it behind, cried Stan. I don't have a wheelbarrow and it would be so useful. 
then you'll have to push it, said Dan. All right, said Stan. I will. All the way up Daffodil Road, Stan emptied the bins and pushed the wheelbarrow between the houses. He didn't really mind. It was such a fresh autumn morning and if he found other useful things on his way, he popped them into the barrow. By the time they reached Mrs Crosby's house at number 88, Stan was exhausted. Mrs Crosby sometimes made tea and homemade biscuits for the crew and he was hoping she had the kettle on this morning. Leaving the wheelbarrow at the top of the path, he was the first to knock at the door. Morning, Mrs Crosby. It's Stan, the bin man. There was no answer. Then Stan thought he heard a little groan. Peering through the letterbox, he saw Mrs Crosby lying in a heap behind the door. Quickly, he fetched Dan and Fran. What can we do? he asked. She's fallen behind the door. If we try to open it, we might hurt her. I'll get in through the window said Dan. Mrs Crosby had left a kitchen window open to let out the steam from her baking. With some difficulty, Dan climbed in and gently eased her away from the door so the others could get through. She was dazed but able to tell them what had happened. I lost my balance climbing up for a new bag of flour, she said. My ankle is so painful I can't get up. They all helped Mrs Crosby into a comfortable chair and placed her foot on a stool. You shouldn't be climbing at your age, said Dan, looking at Mrs Crosby's swollen ankle. What that needs is a cold bandage and lots of rest. Fran made some tea while Dan wrapped a cold wet bandage around Mrs Crosby's swollen ankle. That should make the swelling go down, he said. I don't fancy staying on my own, said Mrs Crosby. If I'm to, to rest, I'd, I'd rather be next door with Mrs Tinker. She would look after me. But you can't walk until the swelling goes down, said Fran. How could we get you there? There is a way, said Stan, nodding towards the top of the path. Not the wheelbarrow, gulped Fran. We could put cushions in it, said Stan, and it's a big wheelbarrow. Mrs Crosby thought it was a wonderful idea. Loaded with her knitting and a bag of homemade biscuits for Mrs Tinker, they all trundled next door. What a sight! When she was safe and comfortable, Stan went back to the house and took all the bags of flour from the top shelf and put them where Mrs Crosby could reach them more easily. If she falls again, I might not be fortunate enough to have a wheelbarrow with me, he thought. Blowing steam train, see the engine puffing, clunk and hiss. The journey starts, shoveling coal to the engine's heart, bellowing smoke as we puff and chuff, puff, puff, chuff, chuff on our way. Lost in smoke, chuff, 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 the train of yesterday. Old and new trains on the track, old and new trains claggity clack, carrying passengers, freight our post. Town to country or down to the coast. New train, hear the horn hooting. New train, see the sparks are flying. Electric trains, no smoke or coal. A diesel rumbles, rams and rolls. Snake their way along the track through the countryside. Speeding away with all their might. Linking cities day and night. Train, babbly up, ba ba. New train, ba da ba ba. Old train, ba da babbly up, babbly up. New train, ba da babbly up, ba ba. Old train, ba 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 ba. New train, ba da babbly up, babbly up. Old train, ba ba babbly up, babbly up. New train, ba da babbly up, babbly up. Peggy spotted some new trains that are always busy during the day. But where do they?
they go at night, Peggy? This is the old guard's van and it's called the Toad and it would have been at the back of the train and the guard could have cooked his breakfast or made a cup of tea here, which I'm going to do now. Kettle's boiling, I think. Pop it in the teapot. Got the tea bag in there. Should be enough. Back on the stove. Ooh, don't forget the milk. Now back to my picture, whilst it brews. Old and new trains on the track. Old and new trains, clackety clack. Carrying passengers, freight or post, from town to country and down to the coast. Time for tea. There's the bus bell. Better tell Peggy. Come along, Peggy. Hurry up and buy your souvenir. The bus is here. Peggy will be on another patch next week. See you there.